we published our experience with the posterior urethral valve cold knife ablation in the year 2013 and since then a lot of people have been asking how to do this this is the diagnostic 9 francis histoscope we use and this is the resectoscope which we use and it has got a cold knife there is no diathermy so that is the tip of the cold knife which looks like a sickle shaped and this is a five month old boy who presented with a um, lot of uh, renal impairment, electrolyte imbalance, UTI and a warding cystourethrogram revealed a classical posterior urethral valve with the blood and neck hypertrophy, trebuchleted bladder and bilateral vesicourethric reflux. So this is a diagnostic cystoscopy and uh, as you see we are entering the urethra crossing the veromontanum and that is the dilated posterior urethra, elevated bladder neck and there is a lot of trabeculation. As you come back you can see from the veromontanum the valve leaflets come out distally and then fuse in the midline to form a membrane like appearance. So that is the valve. So there are two leaflets which is coming distally and that is the sphincter what you saw just now. So again we are coming back from the bladder neck so that is the posterior urethral valve the type 1 valve where the two leaflets have fused in the midline and uh, here I am using the cold knife to divide it at uh, three positions so this cold knife uh, resectoscope is now taken and the valve leaflets are avascular uh, thin leaflets and uh, the cutting happens only at the valve not in the urethra or the sphincter so that is the division at uh, 7 o'clock and this is a division at 5 o'clock. So these are the two leaflets which radiate from the vermontanum. And once this is done, we rotate the resectoscope and then do the 12 o'clock. So that is the 12 o'clock which is being divided. And you can see once the 12 o'clock is divided with one or two goes, it opens up the valve like a Mercedes Benz cut. So in three positions it has been cut and we take a diagnostic cystoscope to confirm uh, that the valve has been nicely ablated and you can see there is a nice um, view of the vermontanum and the valve has been nicely destroyed. So that is the result you need to get. Thank you for watching this video.